All right, we're live on YouTube. Yep. Switch the camera up. If I can't, there we go. So we just saw Battle Alta, or no, Alta Battle Angel. I got it right this time. Sorry, I have dyslexia, so I spell backwards half the time. Um, or get it backwards half the time. I'm about to share the feed on the page. But I'll send it to you, Messenger, first. We really don't even need people to come in live, even if we record the video and then post it up, and then post it up from the click on later. As long as we get views and stuff, it still brings in the crowd. Oh, yeah. And then once they're here and see our videos, then I guess they'll start coming and watching it live then. It's three subscribers. Three. Yep, right there. We're blowing up. Yep, there it goes. Here, so we got to talk about um, Alita. Is it Alita or is it Alta? I, I, I've, I've been saying it wrong the whole time then if it's Alta. But I think it's Alita. I think that's what they were saying is Alita. Her name yeah. was in the movie. Yeah. Alright, well, you know, I mean, um, it was an action packed movie. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? Um, I thought it was pretty. It did have some pretty cool action scenes to it that I thought, um, like when he first discovered her in the beginning and everything. Like I don't know. Like I want to. I want to give too much in detail into the movie, but okay. like the first beginning of the movie, as you see, is how they started off as this guy's like scribbling through the trash and everything like that. Yeah, that was cool. And uh, he that finds was... Alta. Or, or Alita, or how how they say her name, right. and uh, he rebuilds her and stuff. And as you're gradually learning from the movie, as I need to work up more of the story story as well, so I know more about it, is that uh, like he put her her brainstem or something that was in that old skull he found or that old body head into his daughters one he built for her but at the time her brain was already chronically brain dead and he couldn't use it so that's why he was so attached to her okay that's logical that's logical so that and that was his ex-wife was the other woman that yeah, was yeah, going yeah, back yeah, and yeah. forth yeah. that's what they were having to dispute about mm -hmm. between the whole thing mm -hmm. and he was trying to tell her you just need to let go and he's like she's like obviously I think you need to be the one that needs to let go mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the action scenes and stuff were pretty good. Like, uh, like I said, it was kind of slow. I do agree with some of the people. Like, it was slow in the beginning. I mean, uh, in, in most movies, in most movies, in most movies like, uh, we saw so far, it's been slow. So. It's so slow. I mean, like with me, I, I enjoyed it because she was kicking ass. I like to see it. Uh, I like that guy. And um, of course, they had to put a love story involved in it. Every, I think mostly every movie involves a love story now. Everyone. Everyone, Everyone. Even even the new Transformers Bumblebee movie. Mm -hmm. I think they made into a love story. I didn't story. see I didn't get to see that yet. Mostly every movie. I still didn't get to see that. I didn't get to see that. See, I thought we did. That's why I was good. I was going to suggest it, like, because they have it in good quality. Mm -hmm. Everything, though. I was going to watch that. But, for what I heard, they just made that strictly a lovey, lovey type movie. Right. Everything but I heard like from all from that one to the other Transformers like we saw just the main straight action at the beginning and it's like I heard that's kind of it so there's little bits and pieces to everything else mm -hmm. but that's it then the other movies were always straight on back 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 till at the very last one I didn't care for as well too. Mm. I'm not trying to talk about Transformers now because we're talking about this yeah, movie, but that, that. Upset. was it that. the night, the night one or whatever is the Kingdom Lights or whatever that one. Where oh. That one made no sense to me. It was like it started right off and it's like oh back in the day in medieval this and that 
you know, like King Arthur and this and that. It's, it's like, a, okay, yeah, it was it's cool. Listen, but it, like, it just went off too fast fighting and all this other stuff. And like storylines didn't match with any of the other storylines. And they were just like rushing a transformer story on that one. advantage of the, uh, which I think, uh, but that everybody's going to know what was, what was going on and shit. You know what I mean. But if you go and, like, I guess if you've read the comic books or seen the animes or something of that battle or uh, Alita or whatever it is, that I, I need to catch up on it and know the actual storyline, too. Just because it seems pretty interesting. It kind of reminds me of, a, like, a Ghost in a Shell type movie and shit like that. No, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh... What's, what's her name playing in that movie? Scarlett Johansson. It reminds me of, uh, what's that movie with the dude that was fighting at the robot and the robot was alive and they were killing for the robot in the fight? Steel. Nah, that, real it? Steel? Not real Steel. When the little boy, and you had the other guy who played Kevin Sorbo playing the father, I think, or, or uh, Logan playing his father. I can't remember any of it. Real Steel. It was and, real uh, Steel? Hugh Jackson. Yeah, Hugh Jackson. Yeah, yeah Real Steel. But the robot. Because he had that, that shadow sync technology yeah, 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 that would yeah, follow yeah. whatever he did mm-hmm. whenever he it moved. It kind of reminded me of that, but the robot skipped that. But like I said, that game, there was a game that they played in the movie. Mm-hmm. Like, Rollerball. Like, like almost like Rollerball. Like, have you ever seen a movie, Rollerball, that starred yeah. and had that one James dude Con. and was it? Hello, cool chick. Was it? Hello, yeah, you cool? talk about the new one. The new one's cool. I don't know. I'm yeah. not this. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it as much as the old one. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I was thinking about the new one. I forgot that that was a remake yeah. of an older one. Yeah. I did just remember that now. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. But I know I, I did see the new trailer to uh, Pet Cemetery. Did you see that? No, that that looks good. And the, the new trailer to Aladdin. Did you see that? Oh, man. I seen that today. I got it up. I posted it on Facebook. You can pick it up and watch it right now. You'll probably like... Did you like, put it on our shit? Uh, it's on my page, I think. I didn't post it. Yeah, I can actually... I'm, I'm going to post it actually on ours right now. See, that's what I'm saying. See, that's selfish, man. See how I call it selfish? I thought I did paste it there. I did. I usually have it. When it comes to something like that, I usually post it right to the one, to the page. I like going live, you know how you said, I know how you said that we um, record it, but if we go live, then we can just fucking, you never know who might be up. It stays recorded and does it and yeah. stuff. But I was just saying, we can also share the recording and stuff like that, too. We start watching multiple movies, and we start doing it like that right now. I'm doing live right now. Are you doing live from there and here? Mm-mm. Oh, we got another viewer. Who's the other viewer? That might be me. Since so we have two. Yeah. I'm watching. Oh, okay. So are you watching from there and here? Okay. I get it now. That was me. Mm-hmm. Should I go from Facebook or should I stay here? Here, I got it. I'm about to hold up here. Skeleton. I'll even hold it up and show it to people as a plan. Because it's a known trailer. Can't do that. Can't get in trouble for showing a trailer. Mm. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, well, that, yo, some cats are the whole movie sometimes. So, it's everything. But we gotta, you know, do it. Right do was a mystery theater 3000 type thing. My dad was saying about that. Why don't we do a night where we pick a movie, have the movie airing, and have a video on us where we sit around and talk about the movie as we're watching. Yeah, and you know, we can, um, we can have that a few party. Have it go straight through our web, the team page, and go straight through. So people can watch it with us yeah, and comment yeah. at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It just has to be an actual copyright movie that's available that we yeah, can't get in trouble yeah, for yeah, showing. Yeah, so it's yeah. got to be some type of cheesy ass fucking movie. Oh, yeah, we got that so, it, it, that's, that's the best ones because those are the best ones to pick on. Yeah, but that shit would be hot if we get some little food and some shit like that. That was having some some more new shit. <laughs> that's how you get this. That's how we get beef, man. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe Having some of those fucking people getting pissed off at us as actors too. Yeah, you're right. But it's not like they'll really be able to see that shit. 
Well, you, you know how some of them, like if they're like not famous but kind of famous actors and they know like somebody's dogging them, you know some of the motherfuckers are like greedy for money because they're like still hurting. They're like, I'm going to sue this dude for talking shit on me. I wonder how, yeah, that, but you know what, if it got that far, man, I bet, damn, we got, we got far as hell with that. I'm sorry, you know Vanilla Ice be doing that type of shit. <laughs> Vanilla Ice is in debt. Big time. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get slammed, but I'm saying, damn it. Damn, we got seen by him. TMZ, we we'll probably get on TMZ and shit. What you going on, on Facebook? Yeah, I'm trying to find that uh that trailer to the thing and then post it up. Yeah, so that was a decent movie. That was a decent movie. Little cute little robot. I just posted it to a page because you want to see yourself, but I'm actually about to play it too. If I can get it to work. Which one you want to show? That Aladdin shit? Yeah, that's the one I show. Which one? Uh -huh. um, the other one you're just talking about. Uh, oh, Pet Cemetery. Yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. show that next too. That one's worth showing. I think I'm just going to our team page. It's live. I don't want to talk to real cats right now, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk to no ops. I think Josh just got home. He just texted me. He texted me. We sent me question marks and I told him I was watching a movie. It was almost over and I'll be home sometime soon. Well, I thought we should do at least do a review or a movie watch over here since we've done the last three. I think three over there, didn't we? It was Aquaman. Um, yeah, let me change. We just change it up a little bit. That's all. That's it. Yeah, we just we're talking about um, um Alita, Battle Ring Direct. Yeah. We just watched it. Um, we were in the middle of the review, and uh, we know how we're doing. We you know how we do our little getting up. We're on YouTube right now on the Kirby channel, and we're also coming up live on our own team channel. See, we're, we're going to try to make moves. We're, we're trying to get it where we're going there and there, and you can check us all out and we're doing this and doing that. Uh, the same creators of It and The Stand and Shining. Well, yeah. Something. That cat was dead. It brings things back. 
man. I can't have that one there. Wait. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, it didn't show the wording, so we're good. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Cemetery, I, I was messing up, so ah, sorry, dude. And you got to let him know. Yeah. Here. They kind of switched the mom and dad's role and then switched the little boy yeah, to little girl. Yeah, I heard about that. That's why let's talk about it at the end because I know I, I know a little bit about it too. I, I read a little bit about it too. You know me. We're I, we're all creepy, creepy guys. They're watching the horror flick. We're all horror flick buffs too. You know. So most definitely when we watch that, we gotta have Randy do uh, big Ran Ran up there watching it with us. Might have you might have to be. <laughs> This is the same trail I did post on the page. You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamp, none of that ringing about. <laughs> Big buff too. Big buff ninja. Big blue buff Will Smith. By, Mr. <laughs> by the shop call, he did great, excellent camera. 
Alright, so now, what, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about Aladdin first. Hey. Right, I'm going to jump we on. We can get it. Does he want to jump on? Uh, you want to jump on? Like how they kept the music. Mm. They kept the diamond in the rough, like they said. What do you mean? Like how or that's what the line said, like in a cartoon and everything, like the original ad and all that stuff. Like how they did the scene, how it started off, or they kept it originally starting off and everything like the cartoon sure. first and everything. I'm just surprised how they're gonna take Will Smith and make him as a new genius. So I think he's got the He's got the comedy, the humor, and everybody likes like that to pull it off and stuff like that. But for me, when I was a kid, like Robin Williams just made the genie, his yeah, voice and everything. Genie, yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I, I, I never really liked Aladdin. I'm sorry, guys. I know he me. But, um, no. I, I don't, I have no, no, none whatsoever, no desire to. Well, see, I just think they're redoing it just because they're redoing a lot of stuff just because of new generation. I mean, well, we know that. No originality. But this movie, I mean, out of all the other movies, and this movie, I'm, I know I'll probably watch it because I know my mind sees you won't watch this. So I'll, I'll see it, but I... I wonder if they're going to do it like they did the cartoon with singing. Singing? And stuff in it. They didn't show any of that type. Because they had a lot of singing in, like, the cartoon and stuff yeah, like that one. The, the movie. The cartoons and stuff, I think they do that. Because kids like that. For some reason, like, yeah, newer cartoons course. nowadays, Little newer cartoons, cartoons, they have a few. Like, Moana, I know, is a big hit, like, with some of the songs they did. But, like, from what my kids watch or other kids I've seen, like, if you give them an original cartoon to watch, like, yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas or... Like a lad, Lion King, and all that stuff that had those yeah. original songs, yeah. they get sucked in that shit so yeah. much more than what they do in newer cartoons and movies nowadays. Mm -hmm. Besides Moana, but I can mm -hmm. see because that's a big on hit. Yeah. 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 Or or have to have catchy songs in it. Like I mean, Wreck-It Ralph, the kids got sucked in that. Oh, yeah. the despicable Cars, Bees, the Despicable Me, and stuff like that. Cars, and they yeah. tried doing planes, but that really didn't kick off that well. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know, I, I just, this Aladdin stuff, I don't know, unless, unless it, it's probably going to be some actual back shit, it's probably going to be some real, a lot of uh, special effects, that's going to be cool, and so that's why I think that's I'm just waiting for probably just the humor from Will Smith through it. Of course, of course, of course, he's going to pay that on, but I don't, I don't, I think that's going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a wet, a wet, a wet yeah. fart. But anybody gonna like that? I don't, know who cares. I don't think most of my arm nerves are gonna like that shit either. So a diamond in the rough. <laughs> I got a diamond in the rough for him. Check it out. Now that pet cemetery. That looks all right. Um, that looks pretty decent. And um, and that's pretty good that they're gonna switch it around and make it um. I think changing it up, that shows a little bit of originality. And maybe, you know, and they got, who, what's the dude's name? Jeff, is that Jeff Lithgow? Yeah. Okay, Jeff Lithgow. I know my actors now, you know. But, um, yeah, um, he'll be good at it, too, but he will never replace Herman Munster. Mm. But, um, mm -mm. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he was perfect. Yeah. He's Just gonna, the way he was, you don't want to go down that route. And um, I know they're gonna add their little things to it. I, but you should never touch classics. You know what I'm saying? Never touch a classic. Mm. Never touch a classic. I think it's still good for a remake to see. It's something I will go see just to see it. But I know I'm still originally original Pet Cemetery mm. person. Even though Pet Cemetery Two was still decent, the first one was they still good. Stephen King, man, get that money. 
Get that money, man, for not even doing it. You're sitting back by wanting to copy your shit. I'm I know, like, I do want to. I do want to see it too, but every time I see a trailer of it, it's always confusing with the scenes and shit I'm seeing. Hey, yo, I want. I mean, uh, we should try to do our little, little funny little short movie or something since we've been fucking cameras and stuff. Let's go on our channels and stuff. Oh yeah, make a short film. Yeah, do some funny or oh, series. I told you I've been, I've been writing and stuff. Do a little sitcom. You know that stuff takes a lot of work. Do a short film people. stuff like that's easy just because editing because all you have to do is shoot a little clips and then yeah. edit everything all together and then add your sound everything else yeah. it's easy just to record a video and then do it doing live stream and stuff it's kind of hard because you need a, a nice decent camera and everything yeah. else where you get this the yeah. choppy yeah, dark, yeah. movement <laughs> yeah but you know what we could probably make a good ass scary movie we fuck with we do using these motherfucking shit like they didn't wear which uh that was some creepy ass shit where it's only being filmed like that they're like oh shit you know <laughs> Well, hell, they have these, like, really cheap fucking VR things now. There's, uh, like, almost like GoPro ones. Okay. But they're, like, I think, like, 20-something or, like, 30 bucks a piece. Mm-hmm. Now, but they come with, like, a head rig piece you can put on and stuff. My brother's got one. He's got, mm-hmm. he puts it on when he rides yeah, his I bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bought That's one cool. real cheap that was like that. He used it, and it's got some pretty decent video quality for the price of it and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some points in the sound and stuff sounds pretty rough because he's outside winds well, hitting no, the mic course, course. it's flying around yeah. but the quality yeah. and picture and the frame rate is, yeah. is decent I know it is but that's, that's what you need is that they film. but if you had that in a, an environment like this and everybody had one and they either had it like either on a, a chest piece one or whatever on a head piece there like it would see me watching you watching me and then wherever else and put the yeah, clips together fucked up shit is you can see that shit on your head Either that or you put it on like your chest. We got figure box. VOP just point of pew or point of pew. Point of view. <laughs> point of pew. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> point of view. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, so you know <clears throat> so I think play cemetery is gonna be good. But I am not I'm not gonna say anything man, I'm poor, I'm bootlegging like, everything. I'm just gonna be like oh, who who really goes to the movies anymore? Nowadays? I mean, people do, man. You know I mean, they do. I mean, like, if it's worth, like, if it's a movie I'm dying to see, it's a great movie, and I want to spend some time or, like, actually spend some money and get it. It's like Lighters Petersburg and buy one of those VIP seats where you can sit in and have the recliner with yeah, the button on. Yeah, you bring that up every time we talk about it. That, yo, that shit struck, yo, that shit struck a chord in you. I was surprised. <laughs> that was the first time I went to a movie theater. It was like, no, but damn. You, you can tell you're a movie guy. That's like the movie guy shit. You know oh, I saying? love movies, yeah, man. I, I mean, fucking you love know, like movies. The best of, like, I know if, if, me and you, if me and you and our little, little whatever it is, this thing of ours ever takes off and we do become like, I know Knucklehead's going to be happy to go out all the time. So, the, one, the one game I used to like all the time that was on Facebook was that movie pop. And what it was is, it was a game on there, and they would show a clip, a five-second clip of a scene of any random movie between whatever, between horror, scary, funny. Five seconds of it, and you had between five seconds to hurry up and guess between out of four movies they give you a name of what movie it is. And literally, dude, I had like between point of a second every time on my answers when I was getting movies it pop up like Pineapple Express the Pet Cemetery, Pet Cemetery 2 The Shallow this and that like like I, I was I was like when I first game came up I was like up on the top charts flying and going through that like nothing and, but then like they took a game away and it's like what the hell <laughs> so, um, like, I, like I told you I'm, uh, like, I like the movies and stuff but I, I'm, I'm always I always ruin the movies for my girl and I don't even see the movie, and I'll be like, oh shit, I know who it is, and I'll tell her, she'll be like, and I'll she'll watch it, she'll be like, yo, you better not be coming out. And I'm gonna watch the whole movie, and I'm gonna watch it, and then, um, it usually comes out when I said it, she'll be like, oh my, and I'll just be like, how do you know? You know I mean, you know what it is, some people, some movie directors are so predictable, now what will happen. Oh, it just, uh, it was a pop-up on my screen, it's still recording. Some, some, um, 
some movie directors are so predictable nowadays. So and they take great um, ways to try to throw you off of the trail of their movie so it seems that the movie is interesting and then they'll come back. Like say they'll show the first like some movies where they'll show you who the killer is at the very beginning and then Oh like when Tarantino does. Yeah, like he'll show yeah. you the ending of the movie and the beginning of the movie and then like the beginning of the movie at the end of the movie not or even, midway maybe or not even that way. I'm talking about like say uh, in some like in the scary and say in a scary movie where you, they'll show you the killer. Like not show you the killer but basically Basically, like, yo, that he gotta be killer. He's the only one out in the area. Yeah. Okay. And then, but throughout the whole movie, he's doing shit like helping and doing this and doing that. And even though people are still dying and shit, he, uh, he's there like yeah, doing a whole bunch being... of shit. You know what I mean? He's being helpful as motherfucker. He's helping out whoever the starlet is or whatever it is. And then all of a sudden, when it, the shit goes down, it's like, yeah, you know what? It's like where the girl's like, come on, come in. Like where the, it looks like she is trying to get him to come to the end because he's like trying to do something. She be like get her in a secluded, secluded area. Like yeah, man. I don't know. Well, I know. I know in a lot of scary movies, and I know like, this is why they do it and stuff. Is when you always get these people to fall down, or when they hit the guy, oh, and they yeah, and they yeah. knock them down, but they always just knock them down and run off. And the reason they do that, and I, I get it why, is they wouldn't have a movie if they just went over and bashed the killer's head in, and that was yeah, it. The movie would be yeah. over too quick. Yeah, too, definitely, definitely, definitely. But, I mean, in real life, that just shows you, like, that automatically tells you, it makes you automatically have an instinct in your head. If you knock a motherfucker down, yeah, bash his fucking guys, brains out. Especially if you kill him, like, you just saw him kill, like, five people. Like, yeah. You know. But if, I mean, you've seen this motherfucker, like, literally in your own eyes, just take, like, 20 bullets and shit like that, and you knock him down, you better fucking run, because yeah, this see. motherfucker just took 20 yeah, bullets. Yeah, that, that reminds me, that had some funny shit that showed, um, post on Facebook, where they were like, yeah, um, the motherfucker, uh, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do, he, uh, he, uh, had busted rhymes, they had busted rhymes, he's like, yeah, the only do the square, but not go mine, and let Oh, bust around, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hip hop. <laughs> I don't remember that. That's when he was watching that Bruce Lee shit on TV and stuff like that. And Ta- was her name Tara or Kara or something like that? He was trying to convince to go and stuff like that from that online scream shit he ran. It was Halloween Resurrection, wasn't it? I remember seeing it, but I was out so long ago. Uh, that cell, that cell been gone. I probably took that one. Probably took that one. <laughs> Shit. Took one better away. <laughs> <laughs> I took that one. But yeah, so that pet cemetery looks interesting. I like that one. I like that one. Uh, that looks like it's gonna be a goodie. A goodie. I like how like, they are switching up. To be, I know it's because. Like you said, newer generation, but you're switching up to change kind of the storyline. Yeah. Like they did with Evil Dead. Yeah. How like they made I wanna see those. You gotta we gotta do something about that. I think Oh the old be... original Evil Dead? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll, watch them again. I'll definitely watch those. Those were great, good classics. I'm right there. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I'm just dark. <laughs> For some reason. For some reason that uh the, the Kindle's camera light don't pick up a lot well, much this sensor. One, this one's trying to die in anyway, so it's going to be even enough for me. So it's uh, you know, it's just taking, taking time, taking time, taking time. Can't rush everything. That's what, that's what big bro says. Can't rush everything. Everything's got to take, everything's got to take its fucking course, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so, yeah, we might have to, you know, you give me that idea, man. We might have to do that one time. We might get into a little bit. I don't, I don't know. If we, I don't think we'll get too much trouble. If we do that shit, like you said, if we do that, if we do that shit over Facebook, I could get trouble. Shut it down for a while and For what? If we did like a whatever, like we were talking about before, a new, a new, a new, a new, a new, a new movie. The thing is, just because we were playing, playing music. So if we play music without like words in it, we're okay. Don't talk about a new movie. Oh, new new movie. And you watch it how we just said like we have a show and then the show is behind it acting up, acting a fool. 
What? It might be up there for a little bit, then they might take it down, but that's it. I don't think so. And then we might get like penalized for like 24 hours of not being able to communicate or notifications. I doubt it, man. I doubt well, no, my ex, my ex got in trouble for training. What, what was the case? It's called training too much, and that's what sharing and get too many likes and people to like your page. Because literally, she had a page where she was selling jewelry and stuff, yeah. and she just made that page in one day. And literally, do her doing that training and stuff like that, she had over 999 followers, viewers, and other shit like that coming on. And they hurry up, and like next day, she was banned for 24 hours for what they said training for getting too many people to do this and that and everything like that. So they gave her a break so she couldn't get too more, like too too many more people. Like they had like timed her out on it. So she did it again, got timed out again, did it again, get timed out again. She had, but like, she had all these people keep doing this stuff. She was making, uh, getting a lot that's of people through. That's how you're going to get it, man. That's how um, they, uh, the, the plug said that. That's what he's doing. That's where he began a lot of this. But see, some of those people that, that she was doing, what well, she was doing it just to try to get some of the likes, but some of the people and other people on there aren't real. Some of them are bots. No and then they automatically no just start sending them. Wherever. I mean, they charge for that. You know, Facebook and them all that charge for all that. YouTube and all charge for them to do that. But that's well, what I think what is it? Do it. If you automatically paid, I think it's like what? You boost your page or something like that. It's like yeah. $6. Yeah. And they automatically send it to a ton of people or something for like 6,000 viewers or something yeah. like that. And they boost your shit real quick. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's what I'm trying to save up for. So we can knock that out and do it on a. Whatever, but we don't want to tell our whole plan about that. It's all coming into work, man. Trust, believe, believe you me. I just know she's done that and spent money and all that other yeah, stuff. You got but to, you got but to hers really yourself. wasn't like a business business. She just did it just to have people follow her and be yeah, like, oh, I'm She should have been getting paid. Yeah, if she was on like, YouTube, like you porn or something on. like that. Nah, nah. <laughs> but on, um, that too, man. People get paid good money on that. Oh, yeah. You get paid per view. So if you had that linked with the Facebook, linking all those and some them people, and they all take a view of that, and they're getting paid, was like a dollar something per view or like half a dollar per view? Yeah, it adds up if you get them all. Yeah, you got shit. You got, see, that's the whole thing. That's why you got to try to build your team. Like, like we build up our nerd thing. And that's how we should do it. Where that's why I try to get off all of them. You know, we have forty of uh, little people just pop that shit. I'm just sitting there thinking, like, oh, I'm getting a computer and a camera, being yeah. like, hey, pop, hey, ladies, do you all want to try out hit the for? <laughs> hit the comment button. Just hit that shit real quick. Hit that like real quick. Forty two likes and fifty views and go and share. Push that shit. Share that shit. Be sure. Starting a new page. The A and M girls gone wild. <laughs> oh. Represent. Yeah, there, we got a couple. Of, I got a couple of members like that, but they 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 so in, already into the getting their money. They don't want to roll with nobody who trying to come out. Nobody likes to run with uh youngins. We a young and team. We could develop a nice T-shirt for them right there. Yeah, it's, it's Say fun. the hood just have the H, the O. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, yo! Is it Wednesday to dance on the thing? Do it for the team, man. Make that money. You'll get a piece. I ain't trying to keep it all for myself. Got to work. We got. We got. We got to make some type of t-shirts or merchandise. Yeah. I don't like. I like making t-shirts and other shit like that. I told you I'm gonna do the one shirt. I'm, I'm gonna do the, the, the one shirt. I'm gonna do and that's the, the one with the character for the hobby. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make what I want to do is if I get my income tax, it comes out good. I'm gonna make one custom, one custom hoodie that we will send to somebody. Okay. We'll get a good thing. Like I'm gonna save it custom, but I'm gonna customize it with a lot of shit on it. Yeah. Okay. But when the little hobby t-shirts come out, they're going to be coming soon. We're going to start, and we have to start hitting that button. Because what I'm thinking is I'm going to do it as, like, the hood hobbies, a and But I'm going to have a different, basically any type of design or logo of any type of superhero I want around where yeah, I want that'd be high. Like, like the, how they did the pro, like the pro yeah. teams. Yeah, that would be high. I'll put, like, one side is DC and one side is the fucking Marvel. And it put I the very them. two. I need. I I, I'm, I'm gonna have a vote. I'm gonna put the very two. What people think 
the very main DC person and the very main Marvel person should be on the front. You yeah, don't copy the techniques, yo. Well, this is all A and M, so A and M on the squad, so we can, you know, be on. Then nobody don't really want to support us like that. But once DC is going, that's that's when it's gonna happen. Man. And you know you are gonna put that right up on that A and B page, my, the armor boy. See, that's the circle. And then you can move. Josh still watching? I don't know. That's just you know my shit. It just stays up there. Uh, I think he is. Wait. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we got, uh, we're enterprising, and the plug is behind us a little bit, and then um, the movement, we up late night, we just did our little thing, we did, uh, saw Alita, the Battle Angel. We've been on YouTube for about 40 minutes so far. 40 minutes, that's not bad, man, no. 40 minutes and 57 seconds. Yeah, I'm not, um, the plug used to do this show for about two hours. We can get tired of it. <laughs> it's three thirty eight right now. It's yeah. still it's still snowing. Yeah, it's it's light right now. I ain't gotta work. I ain't gotta do nothing wrong. I don't have to do. I don't have to do. Um, what do they call that? What do they call? What do the mafia call the dudes that have to go to nine and five? They call them uh, greenhorns. Uh, Greenhorn shift. Zombies or uh, guys. They thought said that they're dead. I gotta, I won't be dead, I'll be alive tomorrow. I'm gonna walk in the snow tomorrow, though, because I think um, the plug's gonna open up the, the, the all city vape, you know what I'm saying? I don't see whether I'm not talk that, talk that talk with him. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, uh, the Pet Cemetery, like I said, that's the, that's the one I'm like. See, see now that. Uh the store or the the building right next to where we live at over there next to vice city mm-hmm. like i see they got paper on the window and stuff the dude from vice city doing that one. oh he's doing it yeah. no don't let's not get these guys no advertisement for the advertisement but i'm saying when i looked in there it's like it, it lo- just looks like they painted fix up and that was it and there's nothing else or at or nothing yeah, they like do, it. He, do, he uh, came into the plug spot all city vapes he came in there and uh, I thought this whole thing filled a little bit and he said that he gonna change it and do some things to it. He said because it was all messed up and stuff like that. And oh, it is an older building too. Yeah, 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 you know. But he's probably getting it for a great price probably. Oh yeah. That and I know he's he's got he's he's got money and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, 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 he is, um, he's doing decent. That's why we, you know what I mean? That's why I, I started a little late. Like, you know, I started, I should have started the Arm Nerd Movement um, like three three years ago. I started a YouTube, you put out a YouTube channel, so I started like about three years ago. And then, like, this, that move and all this would have been either not done or But that, would, that wouldn't be a too bad idea to talk to that dude about, like, just talk to him friend wise or something like that you know if he ever sends business your way or you send business to his oh, no way doubt. I mean, I'm always down you know he'd be Which like one, hey, you talk about the other dude uh, or the dude for that um, uh, tattoo, guy. Yeah, the tattoo guy uh, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah I mean once I get my sit up and rolling nobody's not gonna mess with me until they see me up and moving you know how it is you know how it is. you know what I mean cause he's already established you know how People are, I mean, you know, people are usually already established. And I told them about uh, our page and everything and stuff like that. Yeah, because that, that was like the main thing he said to ask. Like, oh, do you guys have a web uh, a web a page? Web, not a web page. Yeah, a web page or some web. Or, or are you on the internet? or Like either like Google said, or have a blog or, or a Twitter or Facebook type thing. eBay. Yeah, a lot of people don't even have a website anymore. They just do the Facebook stuff. Yeah. But it's still nice to have actually have Definitely. a webpage. I want to have a webpage because when I had I had one on GoDaddy a while ago for my little nonprofit, and you know, I, now I know that it's probably e- even possible because like, we could do a TV, we can do live through our web page where people can link up to the go to our website and watch us do shows live while we're doing our shows and try to be like real um interactive. I think a hobby shop does is going to be very interactive. I think that'll, be, that'll help us. Well, I think tomorrow, since you're off and everything like that, if you want to, we can go over tomorrow's what, Tuesday? Yeah. 
go over and talk to my dad and tell him that you're looking for, looking for the shop and all that other mm-hmm. stuff and looking to do a page or something like that. I, I don't think he would ever have a problem helping doing a page stuff. If I'm doing pictures and stuff of other shit like that, all I need to do is take pictures and you show me how to upload all that stuff. And yeah. we can do all that stuff. Then. And I have, like I said, all our videos on there. Yeah, yeah, Hell, we yeah. can even make fucking like DVD series yeah. and shit like that and it stuff, goes, man. Goes, like I said, goes. mini series movies and other yeah, shit. Nah. Nah, nah, we, gotta, uh, we just gotta do whatever we, what, what comes up and make sure that it's good. Quality have stuff. have like a TV show series, kind of like a gold gold Goldberg. Oh, I can't even say the fucking gold, Goldbergs, the Goldbergs, and other shit like that. Or <laughs> yeah. like everybody lives Chris or something like a mini little, yeah, little, 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 little mini TV little series show. TV yeah. show. Make it good and film it good and have people act somewhat serious through it and do it right. Yeah, you know we could do. It. Yo, that's what this stuff once is a week for. just come out a show, send it out, and then we have our live reviews on yeah, movies man, and other shit I'm, like that. I told, I told Jen I'm. Um, I know what I'm definitely once I get my camera and everything else. We, we, and we have to because what else is there? You know what I mean? Because if I if I get the camera, the only other thing is I need I need an uh, uh, an anti motion grip. Yeah, a, a tripod. Oh, not a tripod. Not what these things are is uh, they they're two hand things you hold like this and it sets your camera there in the center, but it has a gyro graphic system on the side of it. So like. If I have it aiming at you, it's going to stay. I can hold it like this and be moving around, and yet it's going to stay stable and watching you the whole time. So I can actually move and swift and get, like, above and everything bro. like that. And it just, it, like, it stays. You're not in a hundred for shit, so I know you probably get a good price for it. Oh, yeah, those things go for, I mean, like, for a real, real expensive one. Is like four hundred dollars, but you can get one for like real cheap that does what I needed to do. That I know how to use for like twenty bucks, fifty mm-hmm. bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, we gotta get and like uh, like um, I was talking to uh, big talking to big bro. I was like, yo man, once I get one of the income taxes, I got something else coming up, man. I gotta just invest it correctly and hold on to something and do it like very smart. Hey, them got to do things very smart. Now. I was I was talking to your brother's wife and I went in that one day mm-hmm. when Josh went in. I forgot what he bought, but I was so laughing because I, I went in. I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm, I was like, Dion's brother really reminds me for some reason. Like the way he talks, he goes on is Denzel Washington. <laughs> and she sat there and she started cracking. Up. I've never seen somebody crack up so hard. She tells me she's like, you don't know how much I get that lot, but you know. He idolizes that man. That's why he says he acts like that. He talks like that. A lot of people don't know that. I'm like, well, I can, I can, I can see it. I can see it the way he speaks, the way he talks. He's like, oh, his favorite movie is Training Day, and this and that. Oh my god! I'm like, oh yeah, oh, I can yes. definitely see it, man. Big up, dummy, MFMG, man. MFMG, Because when I went in the shop one day, my dad was with me the one day. He was actually there. We walked in. And when I was talking to him, I was like, hey, man, sorry about the comment with the shoes or something like that. Or what was it? Oh. And he was like, and he's like, oh, he goes, I, I knew Dia One wasn't you. He goes, I knew that was, I knew that was Dion straight up. But I knew when somebody was making fun of my kicks, he goes, I knew that was fucking Dion. <laughs> and he straight up, he's like, I knew it wasn't you straight up. He goes, oh, I to, yeah, that was, that's my brother. <laughs> that's what he said. That was my bro, bro. I don't know. That's what we gonna do, man. That's what we gonna build and just have our business, man. We got to. Everything just takes time. If you heard that too, man, bust the ass. I hear nothing. I was just saying the camera, because I don't know how the camera's kind of close. Oh, well, yeah, 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 the mic kind of closer down to the camera. Yeah, well, you know, man, that's what we got to do. We got to work, man. Uh, we need support, and that's why we got our little Facebook team. And maybe you know, like, but like, since the team is closed, one I think maybe for like one month, we might just open it up. It ain't like it's gonna, but they gotta go through us anyway before they sign that. So, oh, man, so. see, what I, what I think is funny is it's 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 legal for people to actually get fundraiser or donations from other people on Facebook now. Mm-hmm. For anything now, like if you have a birthday, you can be like, "Hey, people, 
go to my GoFundMe and fund me my birthday so I can go out and party and get shit faced. Insane, man. Every day would be my birthday, guys. And people do that. Yeah, amen. They're, like, I literally saw a woman go in there and post this, and literally next day she had, like, fucking four grand to go out to her birthday to go wow, party. Wow, that's incredible. Incredible. And it's like... She must have been hot. She was okay. She was decent, but... She probably had a big boob. No, not really. Not even that. No ass? No. Oh, wow. She had a pretty face. That's basically all she really had going. Was she had a pretty face. Unless she had a, unless she had a whole bunch of followers. I had a whole bunch of followers. Yeah. Well, may, I guess some of them were her family and friends or shit like that, too. Oh, so they were like, oh, we're not seeing it here. Mm-hmm. Have some fun time. But that's, then she had a lot yeah. of other people. Yeah, so they, I mean, that's smart. That's definitely smart. But like I said, with these people on Twitch and stuff like that, I mean, girls, if... There can be some ugly, ugly ass girls, uh-huh. but yet they have some attractive voices mm-hmm. and can just kind of catfish or dog these guys online on Twitter or uh, the Twitch yeah. and just talk to them and be like, oh, hey, guys, you know, if you do this, you know, if you send me some money, maybe I'll send you a picture or oh, yeah. they'll say shit and people will send them money. I've seen a chick one time, one day, and she's one of my friends and uh, her, her screen screen name or her World Warcraft name was Augie. Mm-hmm. And uh she literally one day had a guy she give gave her free publicity. He just gave somebody free publicity again. Well her screen name in a game of wow. Uh-huh. I, I didn't give her you Twitch name. Publicity. No, 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 no Twitch name. Uh-huh. That's just her wow name. She uh-huh. can't get nothing through wow. Uh-huh. Unless they go in there and just talk to her. Well, they go in there and talk to her and then she's... But they need to know her server, her. everything else, and, and there's like yeah, millions. You just, helped, so. you just gave her publicity. Man, for, 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 for. Well, they know her. They already know her. So stay focused on that. But y'all really don't know. She's ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wrong. So, that, because I've seen, I've seen her all way. She's the nice person, but the, she will trick these motherfuckers and say this shit and show fake pictures and all shit. But literally one day, she had a motherfucker send him her five hundred dollars mm. and then buy her a new PlayStation four, a new sixty inch TV, and fucking new was it a comfort and bed set and all that shit shipped right to her house. And yeah man, you know what you gotta um just for a chick being like, oh baby, could you do this? No, look, I when um I put my uh we do hook pink. I want that. That's what it is. What I want them to do Wednesday and them should be. They have girlfriends, but I mean they have girlfriends and all that. They gotta use that to look, get that. I look. I look at this and I'm thinking about. This is this, but people get away with this and they get legally like they can't get in trouble yeah, or nothing. But, the premium, people but they pay it through getting that. Yeah, like, a premium. premium. They get a premium, but the, even when the people are selling money or shipping this stuff to them or anything, right. they can't get in trouble or nothing like that for this shit. No. But if you, in reality, could you think like? This could almost be the new pimping game. You get a couple girls that work for you, just have them and that's what you do that and talk. Yeah, that's what I just said. said (laughs) And it's all legal. Good pimp. (laughs) And all they do is talk and be nice. Yeah, it's it's just like well, it's a sex operator. It gets paid how much to talk on the phone. Being nice, you're being nice. But all they're doing is but you make yourself so dirty. Yeah. Well, everybody was being nice. Being nice. You're being nice to somebody, you're serving a certain purpose, and you're not even touching or anything. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, why not? That's why, I, you know, I sent out a lot of invitations, and one time I was out trolling, you know. You boys with hobbies, you know, Mr. Numbers, we try a troll. I'm, I'm trying to get down with, get down with everybody who hustles. But we're going to have to hustle. Hustle is what hustle is. Grind is grind. If, if you I like the word hustle, but I hate the word hustle because, in a way, like yeah, people, a, yeah, people take it, it the wrong way. Untrusting. It's a, a very dirty when, when you think word. when you think of hustle, hustling to me is when you can actually find a decent deal. You're not actually going to hustle, hustle a person. Where you you offer a person a decent amount for something, you take that and you actually sell it and make profit yourself off it. But you still offered that person a decent amount. You I think, uh, but see, I think of a hustle you, as your job. But some people think of it's a hustle as somebody dirty. robbing yeah, somebody yeah, and they hustle them out. Okay. It's just because of the new generation. That's yeah, why. Yeah. Hustling back in the day is hustling. Yeah. Hustling nowadays is robbing. Robbing. Yeah. And that's how they take it. Turn, it's yeah. bullshit. So what, what is it? I want to be... I want to be... 
in contact with people on the ground that the same or or or, sh or portray to be on the ground similar to mine as far as trying to be something in society, trying to be a productive person. Uh, not, I mean, I, I, I like of course I like a few negative things, but I mean talking about like wanting the better for their family and feed their peak kids and. Feed their, like, I'm, I'm with them, those are people I like, and I believe that if I hook up with people like that, then we get right with that, then it helps out. I can do whatever I can do for them, boom. And if you can help me do this, boom. Then you connect, you, that's how you network. Yeah. But see, there's a lot of people where everybody's not like that nowadays. How, how, how the generation is now. This is how, how everybody thinks the human or how humans have evolved because of technology and all the shit we have, yeah. I think we've actually devolved. We're yeah, devolving even more because it used to be we all depended on each other. We yeah. all worked together we're as able community. To work on each other to we helped each, each other. other. We yeah. were never alone. No. And now with technology and everything, people think that we're social. Like right now, we're thinking we're being social. Yeah, right. We are social with yeah, each other. With each other, but, not with but technically, if I was over at the house doing this, I'd be alone. We are uh, we are an isolated oh, civilization. Oh, of course, everybody in the house like you. I go on my tone on um, missing numbers that uh, you don't know, you don't even know your neighbor anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it used to be the day you always talk to your neighbor. You used to go outside. You used to do shit. You used to play and everything else. And then now it's like kids don't even want to go outside anymore. I don't I mean, even want to go outside no more. So I'm doing some more stupid shit. It, <laughs> going to get a blunt. Stupid shit. Stupid well, shit. I remember when I was a kid, man, like, street lights came on, I had to be in it. No doubt. I wanted to go outside and play. I wanted to skip rocks. I wanted to dig in the dirt. It didn't matter where the fuck I went. I would just sit there and dig holes just to try to imagine I was going to find something. Uh, and be like, cars and dirt and stuff. Like, I, I would find some type of skeleton or some fucking treasure or some shit. I had yeah. imaginations. Kids don't have imaginations nah. now. Well, I mean, some weird. do. Some weird. do. Yeah, but they looked at as weird and shit. Yeah. Like, it's like, well, I've seen kids like, why, with, like, like and stuff. Like, and you'll see kids who got tablets and other shit like that, and look at other kids who are, like, talking and playing and doing other shit. And have, bikes and stuff. And like, yeah, what are like, you doing? What the fuck, man? But, I mean, that's some kids are cool like that. You know what I mean? I got a couple of fam fam like that. And the, the, my It's just because the generation nowadays. Yeah, yeah, but you it's... Know? It's Our generation like, but, is getting lazy, and it's it's not that it's lazy. It's just that nobody is trying to get, like you were just saying, nobody's trying to get hustled by anybody. Nobody's trying to get robbed by anybody. Nobody's trying to get swindled by anybody. Nobody's trying to do this, and that's what it is. That's why nobody knows. They're just making it is everybody's got to be an isolated. On yeah. your own. That's how. That's, a, that's a, how. It's a divide. Even conquer. even when it comes to relationships and marriages and other shit nowadays, like it. People, like, you can't have an actual real thing. Because half people just want to go and be with other people, be with other it's people, other shit conquer. like that. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a mass way of dividing conquer. If, no, if you don't know your neighbor or anything and something crazy happens, what are you going to do? Everybody's going to be like, and it used themselves. to be, And it used to be growing up and everything wise, yeah. is like, the church was always known to yeah. do shit and God was involved and other shit like that. It's not like nowadays everybody's throwing all sh that shit out and trying to get rid of it and same sex, everything else. Which yeah, people people have the freedom and the right to do whatever they want. No, I no, think no, any no, person no. can believe whatever religion, however they want to be, whatever works for them. No doubt. No doubt. You know, I have no judge. I'm not a judge. I don't judge people. I don't get paid to do that. Right. So I'm not going to judge people. Right. You know, it, if you treat others how you want to be treated, that's fine. I think paying it forward. Ooh, is a good all concept time. all the time all the time and i mean um pay for you ever seen <laughs> you never seen that movie yes yeah, and when you ever you say it I, I was like yo this guy maybe say that shit. He, he likes that saying <laughs> well it was it was a good movie man oh, no, like no, it was. It was i i really i really it was sad as hell it was really sad but it was a good moral type story to show that this is what the world needs today. Like, they need people just to go up and show love and affection. It doesn't matter to who, yeah, whoever. Do something nice, yeah. Do yeah. something nice to somebody else, and who, it will. But who's trying to do that? Um, nobody's trying to be used by anybody. But nobody does that because they think that won't help. But if they do it themselves, 
they do help ourselves. No matter what, you still get rewarded out of it. No, but Kurt, it's, it's, you know what it's about now. It's about that nice guys from the last shit, man. Nobody is trying to be used nowadays, man. Well, yeah. Well, I just because I am a nice guy. So. Me too. I get, I'm a nice guy too, man. But, but, but there's nothing wrong with being a nice guy. But we just fool me once. Nice guys get used. That's yeah. how it is. Everybody gets used like that um, if they're a nice guy. Fool me once. I'll fool me twice. And that's what it happens. Yeah, fool me twice. I'm a dumbass. That's right. I was stupid enough to fall for the same shit with my ex four times. So I was, I was, I was a four-time dumbass. Yeah, I was one. fooled by, uh, but that, but you know what though, like um, what they, what, um, my, um, I saw from my favorite movie, one of my favorite movies, uh, Bronx Tale. That's it. Once you do something for that person and they take you over, you don't have to do nothing for them ever again. So, yes. And you know, it sounds cold and everything, but it's true. That's a payoff. Fuck it. Maybe they weren't supposed to be in your life anyway, so you just paid them off. Not fucking be around you. Don't fuck fuck it. <laughs> just look at it like that. Bronx Tale. Good movie. That's a good movie. I don't, I don't think I've seen that. See, I mean, I've that's such a movie I can actually, that's one movie I can actually say I don't See, think, when, I might have if I actually, some movies I don't really remember until I'm, I'm like, if I yeah, see a few seconds it. of it and I'm like, oh yeah. Me too, that's the I am. Definitely have seen it. With the newer stuff, with the newer stuff. With the next thing. But like, um, like I said, as far as, um, what's that, I, I think we're we going to we got enough time for another blunt, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, when, um, my man, uh, in that movie, that's what uh, Sonny said that to Cologio. And I agree with that, because, I mean, why not? Who do you want, man? But, you gotta be mistakes. You just gotta be. Everybody know. makes mistakes, but you know what? We all learn from our mistakes. Mm-hmm. If you don't learn from me, you're done. Nobody takes the same road as well. Everyone's on a different path to life. No matter what, how it's path. I mean, some people have their fucking little road to life fucking just already paved and okay and shit like that. But they'll hit some type of patch once in a while. That's how it always is. You don't think your life's going to be always fucking easy. Because it won't. That's how I was always told. Everybody's, everybody's got a different path in life. It doesn't matter how it's paved or whatever. Some people have theirs paved pretty smooth. Mm-hmm. But they're always going to hit a pothole, man. They're always going to hit some type of split or something. They need to make a decision, a quick something. And whatever path they take is going to lead them down a decent path or a shitty type path. And they're going to have to ride it out till they smooth it out. Karma is a motherfucker, man. I was always a bitch for some reason. Like, but that's why and, I, I, and I'm always nice. That's what's funny. Because I'm always trying to do shit nice. And Karma's always fucking smacking my ass. And I don't got one to smack. No, but see, that what it is, is you just gotta... Those are just some tests and them hoops. To see if you can... See if you will. Now, if you would have killed that person, you in jail. But you tried a different route. So you gotta get your test. Until you reach your... Pinnacle. We gotta be. We all gotta go through our tests and tribulations before, cause you gotta be humble. We gotta be so humble before we get our blessing. That's oh, what yeah. I mean. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. You gotta be humble, cause if you receive your blessing before your time, then you know you're gonna mess up your blessing. You know, like some people, like they say, some people catch their blessings too early, and then they get all screwed up and. That's their life look because they weren't they weren't ready for it. You gotta be prepared for it, I believe. If you do it the right way and try to do it the correct way. It's gonna give you the future and and it's not a clean way of getting it. Where it's supposed I believe uh, every blessing comes at time. You gotta you gotta work the uh, things. I don't want to be emotional. Oh, no, you're good. I should have went on uh, 
It is late though. Nah, once once like, we post it, once we get everything recorded, we can hurry up and post it midday, and everybody can go on and view it all and be like, "Hey." No, no, but I be my boys. A lot of my boys are up. Oh, right now. See, I did. Why aren't they on? Team, huh? Why aren't they on right now? I've invited a bunch of them. I'm trying to invite some people in. Nobody. Nobody. Most of everybody that's on the team. They probably won't get on here because I'm on here. I know at least one of them. I know one of them. I ain't gonna say his name. <laughs> But um, it's it's cool though. That's why everybody gotta get we gotta get everybody nicknames. Cause when me the I ain't gotta say names, it makes it. That's the only nickname I've ever been actually given by somebody else. I stuck with. What? Kid Shot Caller. Yeah, that's hot. Not just cause I mean it. Up. Well, I know you were just saying Shot Caller, but I had shot, I had the kid had and I, I had that. the kid in the beginning too. Yeah, and that made it hotter, and I and I like that. It's like you know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. That's all my boy. That's what you should put your page in. That's what you should put a t- your channel page on there. See, I tried doing it, and then they tried to ask me for a fucking identification birth certificate for a kid shot caller. I'm like, who, changed, who in the fuck would name their kid kid shock caller? I changed everything over <laughs> to I changed everything over to other obvious. No, what you could probably do is make, make another channel. Yeah. Well, I could now. probably contact him and tell him, hey, nah, it's for a certain to... channel. Yeah. I'm still Curtis. I have this Check name, this too. Listen, Boom. listen to your boy. You go on to where it says, you go on to your icon. Press that. It's going to come down. You say, add channel. I add another one. Make that. And then I'll tell you the name. Add. Sound off head. And then we did put everything on there. And you'll have the Curtis Kid channel for your baby picture, your other movies. And then you have this one for your bullshit. Yeah, I didn't even know I had this. But that's man. good. But that's what you should have, man. That's good for you. That's some, some inspirational shit. Cause that's what you're doing all this for. See, that's what you need, man. When you don't see shit like that, you fall into that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what you need to be watching. When you want to be like, damn, what the fuck? Turn that shit on. Like, yes. That's it. Right there. Because they, they ain't not going nowhere, man. And I don't, I see, I, I get, I try to see, but see, that's the, the, see, that's the OJ in me. Because I am, that's what we call the, the generals up in our thing, OJs. They're not OGs, that's some other stuff, OJs. Okay, I've been trying to use that sub ball, and people are not taking to it for some reason. What, that what? Sub ball? Sub ball? Sub ball? Sub ball. Remember oh, I made that? Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah. I said, gotta, some you know, sup you know, all. I said, sup ball. You know what you got to do? I'm going to give you an idea. Because I said to Jess, and she's like, what the fuck did you just say make to me? A, make no. a, uh, go on when you go one day, because you're so busy and don't post shit. Go up on there and write sup ball. And write it down and write what it is, a noun, adjective, whatever. Then put, love, write down what it means, and then motherfuckers start understanding. Come on, man, that's what this page is for. Whoa. Yeah. Well, a lot of people even get like when people were saying like, "Oh, sub boss." When boss was a big word or a yeah. big thing back then, yeah. Yeah. I said, "Boss." Boss. Sub boss. Boss. And a lot of people were like, "All right," and they and they started catching on. And a lot of people were like, "Man, I came up with that shit." And I'm yeah, like, "Man, I was saying that shit a long time." But sub boss because B O S. You got motherfucking cop uh, doing that all the time, man. Huh? I mean, a lot of trends that y'all, y'all don't Dank even know. Dank and lit. I just, I don't know. It's funny when you see the newer, younger kids using a phrase that they have no idea what the fuck it's used for. You know, like, when my cousins and them, it's funny because they'd be like, man, that's so lit. And I'm like, you guys have no idea the term of fucking lit. Like, lit is not even the fucking term what it's used for. Lit is when you light something, you ignite something, you're lighting it the fuck, to illuminate the fucking proceed and light from darkness. Right. You lit something the fuck up. Right. Okay, right. lit is not... Okay, when you think of lit nowadays, it's because of the generation, because of how our generation is stupid, I'm sorry. Yeah. Then people are thinking, oh, lit, like, oh, it means you got high. What the fuck? No, it doesn't. <laughs> lit, it means you had lit or ignited something. You lit something. <laughs> you be in the with the dictionary. You are funny now. Yeah. But that's how it, but, but now it's people are like, no, if you look up now in the urban dictionary, 
Okay, the Urban Dictionary is a made-up dictionary. It is now a dictionary. I will say some of the words could be used for that phrase. My boy put something in that Urban Dictionary. Yeah. But I mean, come on, man. Yo, yo, you can put, yo, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what. I would, I don't want. But the, still, like, lit, I can understand. Well, but the word dank, okay. The word dank, the definition for word dank. Do you know what the definition of word dank is? What? Moist and dark. I was going to say, yeah. How is being like, man, this party is dank. See, the, for a party, that's corny, but they say it for the other thing. Yeah, like, if you if I walk to your basement, man, man, it's fucking dank, dank in here. It. Yo, let me tell you something. You know what? A lot of these guys be doing all these words and making all these bullshit out dictionaries up, right? I'm Just because of the word, how it sounds. Let me tell you what y'all doing now. Actually, setting it up because that's some police shit. Because the police want to know all the street terms from all of everybody, and then they know it. And then they'd be like, oh, word. That's oh, it's like, that's like you, get, you get arrested for this now. Mm. The little okay sign. Hold it this way or this way down. You get arrested for that now. Mm. Back in the day, if you did this sign, you got caught, you got fucking bag tag. Somebody punched you in the nuts. That's how it was. It was below the belt. If you look down, boom, you got a fucking, you got punched in the balls. That's well, how it used to be what? back in the day. In my day, let me <laughs> tell you something. Let me tell you about where that comes from. That comes from... That's well, the, it's actually a symbol like this. It's from uh, Illuminati's and other people use yeah. it because it's yeah. the OK saying the I symbol no, the, yeah, the and all the other shit. But this is for real. This is for Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, an all black fraternity that was established in 1911. Yo, yo. That's where it came from. And then it's got. We're not going into it any further. Because yeah, our, our generation now is so stupid and so neglectful and disrespectful. They give a shit, not at all, about what they do from what we used to do back in the day or anything. Like it's, there's there's no nothing. It used to be back in the day when we had drug deals back there or anything like that. Drug deals Ooh, back in the day. No, stop calling over here, Go ahead. I'm just saying, like older <laughs> back in the day mm-hmm. drug dealers mm-hmm. would go out and buy fucking kids ice cream, other shit like that. Do shit from the neighborhood, their community. Everything was a community thing. Like, once again, people were socialized. Even the people who sold drugs and shit mm-hmm. did shit for their own hometown or their own community to help out. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, well, nowadays, drug dealers and everything won't do that that's shit. That's why A&M is coming back, and that's why we need all the support we can get. Because we're going to do, that's what we want to do. We're going to build up this, our community that we're in. And then we spread I'm gonna be going to Arizona soon, so. Arizona. I don't think I've ever been there. Me neither, man. I'm going. I'm, I'm gonna wait till my son graduates and we're out. <laughs> if everything's going good. Oh, you know, I forgot to tell you that my, bro- my brother's been taking uh, swimming classes and stuff over at the YMCA's every Monday and Wednesday for the past like two, three weeks. He's got next week, too. This is last week. Swimming. Well, he's been going over there and then playing basketball and all yeah. over there. So I don't know if he's even bumped into your kid yeah, or anything. Like, you know, That's what I'm saying. CJ's little, usually over there at the basketball. Boogie, or, boogie over there, yeah. So he's either playing with him and doesn't even realize because my brother's like, I'm always over there playing with kids in basketball and it's not before I go swimming or after swimming. I hurry up and come out. But my dad's going to try to sign him up again because he only started midway through classes. Mm-hmm. That's what he got for his birthday gift. But he seems like because he didn't know actually how to swim. He's a good kid, man. That's why I told you, man. I need them beats, man. Look, you know, cause I want to drop. I'm gonna drop my album, drop my little EP. He know. wants one of those that exact same thing that you want. Mm-hmm. This fucking little dub step type fucking soundboard type yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. The drum machine. That's what we're trying to get. Once we get that, then the album's gonna be complete. Fourteen minutes on YouTube. We got um. I've probably I've been on we've been on face for a while. Yeah. Probably, I think. Was almost an hour on there because I think I was forty minutes in this before you started on that. So I think you've been on there for an hour. I've been on here for an hour and forty. Hmm. 
Yeah, man, if y'all want to, well, ain't nobody on there, so we don't need that. Oh, well, you see, you always say, dude, so if anybody want their videos, because, you know, I do my little, uh, we got DJ, um, v, VJ, VJ, VJ geeking out, doing his little shower powers and stuff. I show my little videos and stuff. I want to cast a shout out, say what up, or get some songs or whatever. I do. I, that's why I, I just it just rock me now. When I get my income tax, I want to go into your brother's shop. I need your brother to be there at some point. You know when he is going to be there because I want to buy a nice modded vape, but I need it for a vape pen. Like I need the I need the mod on the bottom. But I need it to have a pen cap for the actual THC oil oil shit, like the dab pen stuff. All City Vapes got everything. All City Vapes. That's what I want to get because, dude, I literally, I've been, Jess has a dab pen. And literally, if I hit the dab pen one fucking time, I'm fucking good. Uh, I'm doing right with this. No, that's, that's still, the dab pen, though, literally, it's been a while since I've said, like, I can smoke this and get somewhere high. But if I hit the dab pen with the actual real, real, like, high quality THC shit, like, this shit, Mate self right now. Mm-hmm. Or like my guy says right now, I mean say shit. Yeah, see Shot caller is not good with the um, Yeah, it's like a that's pick up Don Cortez. He was just so bad dude. I haven't heard from him. I hope he's doing good. And then Snow he's probably not even getting it. But he said he'd give me good prices so he has the high milligrams and shit and real good stuff. Literally dude, if I hit this dad pit one fucking time. I feel like I had just smoked for the very first time. I got fucked up. Like I'm just like I'm not like like my what legs are wobbly or nothing like all like off a real dab rig, but That's just true. taking a hit off that after smoking, mm-hmm. I, I feel great. I feel fucking amazing, man. Like literally, I feel the real high in, like off that. Like I, I I hate the taste of it because it doesn't give me the real taste. Of it. That's the only thing I like about smoking. Is the smell and the quality and the taste of it for some reason. When that bad, it doesn't give me that. But it fucks me up. I know that one time I went over that last time I hit fucking that Gorilla Glue off of that brick. That shit fucked me up. Yeah, oh my God, dude. I've never sweated or had something like that hit me like that ever. Because the day before that I hit it, and I was completely fine. Like, I took a huge hit. I thought it was going to hit me just like that. I blew it out, and it was normal. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it, sh- it, it it shocked me, and I'm like, damn, I must get a hand of a dab break now. I'm like, uh. so the next day I come over, I'm like, oh, my hand is like a fucking champ. So I took the biggest fucking hit I could. Literally, when I blew that shit out, dude, I, my shirt, my coat, everything was soaked in sweat within under a fucking minute. I saw a dude one time, man, first time I ever saw him outside. And that shit was crazy. I looked at him. I, first, it was like, we looked at each other, didn't even know who we were, each other were, but we knew who each other were. Was. And then she was like, I was like, oh, what's up, man? Big up, big up. Um, I think I gave him a nickname, too. If I ever get big, he gonna be a, he gonna be a, 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 if we ever go on tour, if I get my little EP, I get my little ghetto tour, when, when uh, on the, D, the, the, the Lynn, the Lynn Brown boys, the brothers, the Buckshot brothers get the Enterprise band on the tour. tour. So all the Comic Cons, because we got to go to the Comic Cons. Oh, uh, yeah. I got to find out what my dad, my, that's what my dad wanted to talk to us too about. If we can go over here tomorrow, about when they're going to have that, uh, <coughs> those two horrifying conventions or Comic Con things coming up. And, and Gettysburg and shit. Those conventions and all that, man. Hood Hobby's about to blow up. I'm about to go hard, man. And I'm going to take everybody over. That's why the Hood Hobby's Twitter account is up. Hood Hobby, all you got to do is hit Hood Hobby, man. I told you. I, I my dad can help you with that Twitter shit. He's huge on Twitter you know, and shit like that. Twitter Dude, account up. You know who my dad's got on there? His friends, and they talk to him and everything. He's got Janet Jameson. 
Apparently, I understand a couple other people in there, but Jenna Jay used to talk to him all the well, time. We gotta help us. We're gonna open up a store and we need him to help us make it so we're people coming in and out. And we gotta keep it nice. But you know, Jenna Jameson is a straight up Christian and everything now and does her own, has her own church and everything like that now. Yeah, she don't do porn and shit like that. Yeah, man. Tell me to throw the love over. We need the love, man. And I'm swimming in the feed, man. I got college, kids in college and stuff doing the thing, man. Yeah, he, got, he got kids too. Maybe I don't start getting this going. Good hobbies. Ain't it? Arm nerve movement. See, that's the arm nerve movement is the grimy part of our thing. Where we want everybody just to come in and post, but I, even though everything is done by other hobbies, that's where everybody go put everything on, but nobody copyright. Hmm? We have a copyright right on that hood hobbies. Mm hmm. And, um, and everybody come on the Facebook team, but see the on nerd boys is where the serious people are. Like. And that's where I put the serious, you know, the other stuff in that's a little more. Uh, like we gotta start selling our shirts on. Yeah, I think I think what we should do is real real quieters who really want to be in the A and M, the hood hobbies, arm nerd movement. If they go and buy an actual T shirt. They get to the boys. They get up in there. They, yeah. they, they're they the VIPs. Mm, we're the VIP. They get the shit first. We'll, we'll send you the A&M VIP mm, shirts. Sure, sure. Like when we have our little sales or we're doing some place or we're coming around near you or something like that. We get, we're going to interact with our A&M movement. And if you come in like in the store wearing mm -hmm. it, like something like that, you come in wearing representing something like that? Yeah, if you're going to take pictures and everything, that's going to be incredible. Incredible. Because it's going to be, and, 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 and the thing about it, I want it to be um, where we're all, like, cause I know a lot of the people I invited to join our crew, our fathers and stuff like that, and when they see kids and stuff, that are, and we're going to make kids become respectful to adults of all types, and, and so what if a dude's a gangbanger or this or that, if he comes in and acts respectful and is doing his business and good with us and good with kids and everything, everybody's welcome. Do the A and M Junior? Well, yeah, that's what that's how I start. Cause I'm gonna start because you know, yo, look me up. Look up Coach D, Coach D, Wolverines Basketball Academy. Look my record up, cause that's coming too. But I'm, I'm, I'm I got a lot of things to do. We gotta do things first, cause Broski is not having that. Let's do it first. And we gonna have the sneakers up in there. We already, already laid that down. So Jordan, A and M is gonna be tight. I've never, I've never tried Jordan songs. Well, I've never you, wore a pair. There we go. There we go. You See, ready? I don't know if I could fit in those. Mm -hmm. I think I could. I might, I might be able to fit in some. I've right. never wore a pair of Jordans in my life. Right, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, I think, I think I put on a pair of some knockoff Jordans before, where it had that big ass like wiener bulge. You, you, know, gonna, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna, they're gonna be like, yeah, you know, nah. I remember those things you said, and I took that to heart, and I, it made me want to go and better myself. But I still can't allow that to. You know, you know, one, you know once you once you have always wanted to earn or something, I wanted some high tops, like yeah, the, at, the shoes with the high tops and shit, like Nikes and shit, like yeah, that's I what mean, I want. Yo, I, I can never get. I've never owned a pair. That's why I've always you're wanted. You're gonna be having everything, man. You're gonna be having new shell tools. You're gonna be having everything. A and M is about to go. Hood hobby is about to do things. But I'm a hunter. That's, a, that's when when broke when the plug saw that I go hunting. Like my room, see you saw some of my stuff. You didn't see the stuff came back. I saw some of the stuff you had there, but then I when I came over the one time when you had this like everything that was around still here in boxes and then yeah. what was up there that I saw when I saw that yeah. that time. Yeah, but was, that was it. You got everything from old school cameras that are father that the plug mount but um miss numbers kept the father kept them man. all cameras is old yeah, school, old school like cameras that. are going for old high school price cam, cameras, old school watches man. old school watch faces especially old, if they're olympias you know, you know, if you find olympia cameras old school like eight millimeter olympias and stuff man, they I'm go gonna, for some see, good price yo, man you will see man yo it, it, yo cut i know anybody be like yo dear just talks about you. no I'm a hobby guy. That's my, I'm a, that's my, I think. 
I, I, I like I, I love searching for shit and finding shit for cheap and whatever else. If I find it, see it, or whatever. You know, if I see it, I usually try to send you a picture yeah. or something with something interesting. And that's what I was gonna have to do. You're gonna be telling them if I could bring that over right now. We want it for this price. We want we got it right here, cash right now. What's up? And that's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be just how um it was and did you, you remember what it was? Good yeah, like if I go anywhere or something like if I go end up going with my dad to Gettysburg or something like that, I'm always gonna end up carrying some cash on me in case we go to some of those places up there. You know how um good fellas was? He was like, yo, stuff was coming from the front door and leaving out the back. But we're gonna have it the other way. People bring shit in the back. Go out the front. Out the front. I'm like, Damn, he got that shit got rid of that shit bad. Yo, hood hobby Macari and eBay, check it out. We, we, made we should have a monthly superhero thing, too. Yeah, man. Yeah, we got to start doing that. See, you're one of my administrators. You got to help me do that. Because I was supposed to start doing my little Hot Wheels thing and showing a certain car and showing Hot Wheels every once in a while. But I haven't even got to that. I've been trying to just... Get do a Hot Wheels week. Yeah. So week, beginning of the month, every month, like, first beginning of the week, you have something for a Hot Wheels week. And we show a car every, every day. Just show a car. I'm like, boom. We got a kind of mature group, too. Because A&M isn't really ready for the kids. Like you said, we got to kind of get like an A&M junior. Or a and M light. Green them something. Whereas, because, like, I made the kind of, I made the A&M movement kind of raw. Because, like, you know, we got to get men in. I like We need We need adult, adult yeah. people and stuff to start off in the bat. Because yeah. there's not a lot of juniors and other shit out there in town right now for shit like that. Because I did have a couple of kids that probably seen some of our pages and stuff that we posted and stuff. I saw some of the other hobby channel shows and stuff and then wanted to come to AM and then I was like, you know, I can't have these little kids up on uh, the page and you know, I, mean, I, I think I might even them. I think I might even invest and buy some of those uh fucking soldering kits and tools and shit like that to do custom controllers and shit like that. I told you what I want, I want that custom staple joint. But like that, that uh, yeah. How I was thinking, they what they did was they used that that stapler mm-hmm. point. But what they did was take the one they took out that whole front mechanism piece, mm-hmm. and the point where the spring mechanism where it comes What's back the and then launches the stable yeah. forward. They either probably put a nail or something in that to make it a pin. To make it the pin. Mm-hmm. So when they click it, it comes back, hits the shell casing pin, and then shoots it out. Yeah, and that's. That's welded and solid pretty good, yeah. but just because I'm looking at the handle, I hope it's either steel or something, but it's still a pretty thin piece of steel yeah. or aluminum. It'd still be good for like a good two, three shots, but mm. I wouldn't trust it after that because that might blow up in your hand. Because yeah, how thin it too, and yeah. the, that's going to have a hell of a fucking kick yeah. back how short the barrel is. I know. Yeah, see, this, uh, you know, that's on that one page, that one thing, man, you know. But, I mean, we have to start that out. Right? Did you hear about that? What was it? Uh, in Texas, they had one day, they were like, you can break whatever guns you can, whatever. We'll pay you $500 per gun, whatever you bring in. Doesn't matter. No questions asked. $500 per gun. And this dude went to his garage, and he built, like, 13 homemade guns out of wherever he fucking could. Out of pipes and materials and everything. And brought them in. And they all fought, shot and fired and worked. And he got $500 per one. That's awesome. And the police had to take it and everything. And they were all like, you, you, you totally, they're like, you totally got us. Like, hey, this was an agreement. You have a weapon here. That's what it is. No questions asked. Five, 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 five. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations for that. That's pretty great. And he had some nice ones he did. And some of them, like, you could tell he just ran out of material. Mm -hmm. But... He still had it where it worked. Like, it was just like an end of, like, a two-by-four for the handle with some little fucking some little spring that it. was bent like this wow. that had, like, a pull chamber mm. fucking, like, anti, like, black powder type chamber at the top and just shot a bowl or whatever it came out the fucking wow. barrel. That's incredible. He, he gets, he gets, a, um, he gets a whatchamacallit for that. He gets, the, um, he gets a pat on the back for that. I would have done the same thing. If I thought about it, I'm like, what? Yeah, you got No questions asked? If I got the materials and shit? And, like, he probably took maybe $100 worth of shit and turned that shit around. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he hustled it, but he hustled it fair and square. Fair and square. He gets, he gets, he gets, he gets, um, props for that. He totally gets props for that. He gets props for that. You know, everybody sleep. Now, me, me and you just are babbling. That's good. That's what it is. Gonna be somebody really like, yo, they be wilding. Yeah. And then for the hobbies. I'm gonna get them, you know, we got, we got, like my brother said, every, um, we gotta take time and do it correctly. And take our time, man. We gotta just take our time and. Patience is a virtue, but it always comes with a good payoff, usually, yeah, yeah, man, if yeah. you have the patience for it. Uh-huh. It is a pain. Yeah, patience is. is a pain. It's a war. A, war a lot of people don't have patience for stuff. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't. Not at all, man. Mm-hmm. you blow it, and it's not ready. Damn, that's a smell good. What is that? I think that's billionaire. Billionaire book. I covered it <laughs> big time. Oh, yeah, it's a little smell. That remind me of like an old, an older type of smell I smelled when I was a yeah, kid. Yeah, that, yeah I that's forgot. where I got it. I, that's where I thought too. I, was like, yeah, I forgot what, what it was. <coughs> like a, like a, um, a barbershop. Yeah. Like the barbershop that I, that I need, man. Oh, you know, um, no, it's time of old, the old timey type car air fresheners you would buy or yeah, something like, like that. Yeah, the trees with the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right when you first open it, when yeah. you first open it, it's that, that real, real strong smell, and you're like, oh, yeah. yeah. And after about the second day, you're like, this shit's gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, can't show this on YouTube, but yeah, this is what it is, man. Use that. You ain't getting no free advertising, but use it. Yeah. So. Only if they would get a hold of us and we start getting bigger and we contact them is when they would pay us to do mm-hmm. something. Oh when we do, I am going to start contacting a few people about it. Because they'll, they'll actually send us money and tell us to do videos and other shit like that mm-hmm. and sponsor. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one dude got what? They're like, hey, we'll give you guys $40,000 and you guys buy whatever within $40,000 and that's what we'll give you guys for promoting our app or our product or whatever we got to get ourselves out there but you have an hour to spend that much mm. and it's like oh and oh, whatever's man. not goes back to us and then whatever's spending that you get to keep oh that's easy man see they, they don't they, they, i would never get nothing like that that would be too easy for me. Hey, you only have an hour to spend it like be like all right once the money arrives i'm like this shit's gonna be gone within just oh, 30 minutes oh, but oh, let's get a best buy <laughs> or yeah house or something Hell, you can use half of that. But well, I know some of it you have to buy some product, but some people in there did go like, oh, I put some of it towards my kid's college. Mm-hmm. I put some of it towards bills or groceries. Like some people went out and bought groceries and shit. But you have to do, you have to buy some type of something mm-hmm. to show. Oh, like, like, like you said, I probably would have half. You could be like, oh, I'm going to put half this towards my rent and then half this towards something. And then well, I'll, some, I'll put a down payment on the house, the mortgage, boom. Bills, boom, then I'll just start buying everything like like you said. So I'll be like, yeah, we're gonna buy this appliance, this appliance, and those are products. But those see well, those how I was watching they were doing the one videos, mm-hmm. how they do them and stuff. He he should have proof like when he put the like bought that, did that and had the receipts and stuff, as long as he has a proof receipt, but they have to have within an hour they have to record on That's video what they're doing. They have to run as a recording and then I have my girl in the house shit, then I'll be going to the store and buying it. Refrigerator this, 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 this. And just going around but doing it and then having her either ship to the house or picking up later. Oh, That's what they do. Yeah. They have an hour to hurry up and spend that money. And after that, they don't have an hour. An hour isn't a lot of time. It isn't. But if you think about it, if you rush and do it, mm-hmm. and how they start it, they'll, they'll start as like, They'll give you hurry up, but like right when you first get to the first store, I think your first store is boom. That's when you get the first. But down. you know, most places I think if you're doing that, like it's, like you can see, I, I'm, I'd be on the house thing, like I said, because you call for it, like yo, I got this amount of money, I want to put it down on this house and dress. But I want you to pick up three houses and then you pick them up and just put down payment for whatever. Yeah. Boom. Then give it to someone else. I wouldn't even go there and try to be talking to them. 
I'm telling what's up. Well, yeah, if, as long as you're on, like, recording, showing them, and then have the proof and the time, the date, you're yeah, good with the time. They have to write it up, we'll figure out the, the uh, whatever. That would probably be the first thing, is hurry up and call, do that, mm-hmm. and right when that first purchase comes through and they get that, leave right straight from there and then go straight yeah. to the store. I, I'll be on the move, I'll be on the, I'll be mobile. Phone, my man, yeah, hey, 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 yeah, that's what I, whatchamacallit. Forty grand, because I was seeing some of these people, and some of them are going into Best Buy and shit. They're like, I don't know, and they're like spending something. It's like, oh, I only spent like a thousand. I only spent like two grand. I'm like, how the fuck yeah, is a motherfucker they, walking Best Buy? I only spent like two grand. If I if I walked in there and I had the opportunity, how many TVs could they buy? Could they buy like four? Well, three, out of all the people they had, they had forty thousand dollars split between. I forgot how many people. Everybody had five grand to spend mm. from themselves. Oh, that's but, easy. That's, that makes me a little bit easier too. $5, but everybody was going in there. They were pulling tons of shit, and then when they were coming up, it was like they were only coming up to like to a thousand dollars to like fifteen hundred, and they had a good bit of stuff. And I'm like, damn, like. They must be getting good prices for it, but I mean, if I went in there yeah. and I had to hurry up and spend that five grand, that's what I had to spend. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to spend my five grand. I know what I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting yeah, it. Well, I, I think on the le- electronics loan, probably, I think I'd be able to get about maybe go a thousand, fifteen hundred. Because I know if if it came to that, I'd definitely get a nice rig computer. Yo. Yeah. A nice camera. Mm-hmm. A nice fucking TV, washer dryer, refrigerator, shit like that. Yeah, and I think that's gonna go. And then of, like maybe a game system or something else like that, or surround sound, yeah, like something, know, some type of surround sound system or something. Or something. And then, you have to have a surround sound see, system for TV. But when people get caught up with that when they go buy them smalls, you can't buy smalls. No. So you get like that would be like a killer if you went in there and tried to buy hot wheels. Just die. You blow your mind. You lose. But that also could be a thing too. You, if you had that and they gave you that money, you could technically go right into any any Walmart any store, any other t- supply place, and buy tons of fucking toys for whatever fucking price. Get that money, and then retake that and resell the shit at your own store, and still get money back. You still made a profit, no matter fucking what. You just like, throw them all in the cart, or just how how it is at Walmart. Just go around the line and go. I want twenty of these, twenty of these, twenty of these. Add the cart. Boom, done. Here's a receipt. That's what I bought for this. And it's all shipped to your house then. And that's how some of these people were shopping too. They were buying shit online, just having sent to them. It's like, oh, I bought this online, yeah, but, oh, but they still that. had to buy at least a few items that they had to show. Mm-hmm. They did, but that would be. Mm-hmm. Still a hell of an investment. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. You can buy a down payment on a car. A truck or something. A car, used truck or something. Because, I mean, like, especially, like, around here, they would get killed around here because the shits are so close together because everything's so far apart. Like, you got a car dealership right across from Walmart. At Walmart, you got that whole little thing. Yeah, nice delivery truck. Yeah. Nice type, not like a big, big one, but not something that could still haul something in case we need something to, to get. Like the, um, like you know, like the old school, um, bread bakery trucks. Yeah. And paint on the side, and that shit get feeded out. <laughs> They're like, what? How far? Is it? Yeah, we need to make this up. Word. Yeah. You want it for free? It's free. We get it. And then, cause that's what you see all the time. It's like, yo, they just said, yo, come get it, pick it up. Yeah, it just, you must yo, pick up and haul. Yo, all no, right. No, it's around here, I saw, uh, um, I saw, uh, uh, um, fax machine. And I was walking by on my way to, um, the 9 to 5. And, um, I was like, yo, that shit look clean. I was like, it might not work, but I know whatever's wrong with that note could be fixed. Cause these people out here are handy. Everybody's out here is kind of handy and shit. I walked back after the big, I was like, yeah, that shit gone. That's Somebody it. took that. Yeah, like, Either yeah, stripped it for that. parts or whatever. Yeah, whatever. That's, that's what usually a lot of people do. Electronics, computers or something like that, they'll strip this shit for parts and stuff. And what they'll do is 
A lot of people don't know there's gold in computers. Mm. The motherboards and chips and everything all have gold in them. So what they'll do is hurry up and burn and melt that shit off. Get enough of them. Or just collect them all. And burn the gold all off it. And then collect the gold off it and then cash the gold. Wow. And make more money off it. That's a hard hustle like that. It is hard to do, but it, you got you got shit and time to do it, and you're just collecting it. If they did it that way, or if they just did it for just to fix it, like, yeah, they got a flash machine. Well, a lot of people take it and just strip wiring or metal and everything else out and scrap it. Like, uh, a lot of people, like, a lot of people think they just dead uh, AC units and shit are no worth anything. But you strip that and take all that copper out of it and all that other shit. Mm-hmm. You got a good bit of money there. Yeah, I got, I'd have to take it apart. I wouldn't even know what it looked. But that sounds like a good little thing. That's what they'll do. They'll strip all that shit and gather all up and go cash in and make fucking good, a nice good bit. If they'll wait for the copper or whatever type of love, like, go up in that week or something like that. If it's a high price, they'll go and cash it all in. Once. So we used to see that people do that in the crack, like the crack heads around the way of Joyzy. They get that copper. Well, the, well, well nowadays the they won't take melted shit down like some gold and other shit like that but you have to show and a lot of people show hey I, I melt this from the computers and shit like that which they'll accept but if it's like copper like you have to prove to them what copy you took to melt it and why'd you melt it like that because what a lot of people were doing was taking a lot of pennies and remelting pennies for copper and they were actually making more melting them and making them into bricks or moldings and reselling them mm-hmm. that way but it's illegal because you're yeah, destroying, destroying federal property federal currency yeah, and shit yeah, yeah. and a lot of people were going up to their graveyards and shit and a lot of those things up there those urns and other shit are yeah. made out of brass, brass and other yeah. shit and it will take those and remelting them and shit and reselling them for a lot Dirty. That's some dirty yeah, shit going and have to steal from a graveyard. If anything's kind of smart, bro. That's the other thing's dirty. That's pretty bad where you can go and take your money and cash it in, get a ton of pennies, melt them out, and make more money yeah, that's insane. melting and selling pennies than what pennies are mm-hmm. worth mm-hmm. by their fucking selves. That's the American thing. See, that's, but that's, what, that's, that's what happens to when, you're, when a country is so based on money and materialistic things and, you know what I mean because like, how can it be where a bill can go faster than your paycheck go faster than, than your paycheck that does, that's not right that's ass backwards man it the, is it's, 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 society can't survive like that and then you got people saying you shouldn't be living check to check yo I'm trying not to live yeah, we're not trying to live mm-hmm. check you shouldn't be living how are we not should be living check to check when this is what we're forced to? How can you have somebody who I I was on to security disability from since my accident all the way through because of my epilepsy and everything like that. Then they want to tell me, Okay, you're you're able to work and stuff like that, but you're not able to operate a heavy machinery and other shit like that or drive a vehicle. Okay, but the only work I can do is either warehouse work and other shit like that. That means you're going to do the hard shit. Like the and, but then it's like, oh, shit. but you can't really lift all this much weight. You can, but it's really pushing your limit. And plus, you can't drive and other shit like that because you have seizures, but you're able to work. It's like, okay, yeah, I know I'm able to work, but it's harder to do when you can't. Like, you guys are telling me I can't operate a vehicle, I can't buy a car or anything, so where am I supposed to work at? Yeah, it's like a double-edged sword, double. It's like a catch-22. But, um, yeah, that's the thing, man. But I'm trying to work. Um, so when we lived over at Westmore College, and, uh, the rent went up faster than I think so. Oh, fuck yeah, and her trying to hit us up all the fucking time. Quick as shit. Like before rent was even due. Yeah, She's like, so you when you gonna give me this? And it's like, bitch, I just gave you money. That's right. That's crazy. Like, wait, I, that's like, that's like a bitch asking you, like, I wanna get laid, and it's your 
fucking her, she's like, what are you going to give me the dick? <laughs> Bitch, you're receiving it now. What are you going to give my present after this? <laughs> no, I'm going to dinner. Hey, how are we going to dinner? I ain't kidding yet. <laughs> but uh, that's basically what it is. Uh, it's, uh, it makes no sense. It's, it's, it's like, it's like sense. wiping. It for, them. To, for her, yeah. But... It's like. Wiping your ass before you shit. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. It's like wiping yeah. before fucking pooping. Yeah, it makes no sense. Insane, man. Insane. Totally. Totally. I agree with that. But, yeah. So, that's why I say, like you said, the word hustle. See, that all came from the word hustle. That conversation we just had all came from just that one word hustle. See? My words have a lot of descriptiveness and meaning. From old school to new school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From a lot of people mixing shit and twisting shit. And everything like I'm that. being That's slick. Just... Trying to be slick. Yeah, newer gen- I just think newer generation and newer school people are just so disrespectful. They are. No disrespect to them. I'm not trying to disrespect you guys, but you guys are disrespectful towards yeah. older school people and shit because yeah. they think that their shit is better than our shit used to be and everything, but ours is more. Well, we kind of um, we thought we saw because we were a little rebellious in our kind. Well, but it used to be back in the day when you when you had when you had your your squad your gang your people or something that was your people they had your back you guys had each other coming a squad or gang now I mean it doesn't matter they will throw each other on each other mm-hmm. there's no loyalty there's no nothing if something happens gets said they just off that guy mm-hmm. there's nothing like that there's no respect towards the community towards each other towards nobody in the squad at all. Mm-hmm. In a squad, you're supposed to respect each other. Even the head head person, even that head person respects every member yeah, that's in there. Respect a lot. The, 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 the one on the bottom, the top to bottom, top to bottom. But none of them see that shit anymore. I mean, they see it. They see it, but. but how the generation is, is, they're all raised to just fend for themselves now. It's a fend for yourself generation now, just because, like you said government and everybody else thinks that you shouldn't live off this paycheck to paycheck. Mm-hmm. We, we shouldn't, but it's not our choice. No. So we try to fend for ourselves mm-hmm. once again we have to. to survive. We have to. And nobody is looking that everybody is all the same situation. We're all looking at it as ourselves, but if we would all look at it as community-wise and shit again, well, we could help each other more. Well, as far as you know, it's hard to build. It's hard, man. So. Especially like you said, how it is in this town, how everybody like, uh, like I said, what's his name here? I gonna forget his name or nothing because we've got time. Mm-hmm. But how he kind of hates these people and other shit around this town, and I kind of see his point of view because mm-hmm. you kind of threw it out there how these people were just. Look at everybody in here like they're going nowhere. Their life is shit. They just want to bash people and make them feel more shitty to make yourself feel better mm-hmm. because that's how they are around mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. They don't, and they'll hit on you, but they'll watch you. <laughs> I'm not saying the whole town's like that. Mm. It's certain people, yeah. but. Yeah, but that's everywhere though. And you gotta try to weed them people out. Gotta weed them people out. Cause if you don't, they'll drag you down and just try to destroy stuff while it's trying to be built. You know what I mean? It's not even built yet. And then you have people trying to destroy. There, it's back. So I had a message to sit back. Page four forty six already. Probably shut down by fire. People all day long. I'm so happy. You got to go to the today, man. Still up. Still up? It's good that you came over tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. I said you could go out for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
See, when you see that the administrators are getting together, you know that we're trying to get it together now. It's been a while since I've been over here, and we mm-hmm. actually did a movie review yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. It's going to be a little too far. Even tonight, when it came out, it was snowing. I don't know if it is snow or not. I can't tell if it's like yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's really oh, light. It's, not, it's light because it's coming down. Like it's glowing. Thing. It's like... I'm going to turn into a popsicle when I go out. <laughs> I just... I finished the rest of my Dasani water. <laughs> mm-hmm. my, my Dasani water. Mm-hmm. We'll call it that. Mm-hmm. No free publicity unless it's for a and Other hobbies. Macari, other hobbies, eBay. This will just be a future reference. If it is any type of donating or anything like that anybody can hurry up and sponsor and give us an ad if mm-hmm. we want to if yeah. you want to if you want us to do a product review or something like that hit us up we can mm-hmm. there is a lot of places to do that well, if you have but if it is like an alcohol or a beverage place i do prefer liquor mm-hmm. i can say liquor or beer I'm if you want to guy. send us a thing and we can do a review on that because you can do mm-hmm. beer reviews and other shit like that mm-hmm. you just can't shit yourself when you're really drinking mm-hmm. there you go i'm with it you know, I'm with that. That's how a lot, my dad gets a lot of his tobacco stuff because he does tobacco reviews and stuff like that. And they mm-hmm. ship him tons of stuff for free all that's the time. How, that's how broke with him. He got mad you that. I can make his own juice and mods and all that. He gets all the work there. Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? You want me to review your, your, your toys, a new toy or something you got? Or a custom car that you got. Whatever. It's hot. Start doing fan mail reviews. Mm-hmm. That's a big thing. That's a big thing. There's a lot of people. It went, once we actually, no, we're a, a customer or a fan. Mm-hmm. If they want to, you guys can send mm-hmm. us a package in the mail of wherever you guys want to. Something you want to either donate to us or the store that we can send to other people, wherever. How they do. And it gets to us as a gift, and we do the review on the box. Oh, but a lot, of, a lot of people send some shit there, and some dickhead shit. Oh, you know what? Well, you open it up, it's like a bag full of fucking like dildos. Mm. Or you open it up, it's a bag full of dead flies or some shit. Yeah, we'll get a post office box for that shit. But sometimes some people get like Xboxes or yeah, laptops and we, other shit. We're, we're gonna have to. Um, I'll probably make it tomorrow. Um, the A&M, uh, I'm gonna make um, arm, the arm movement at, uh, email tomorrow. I'll put that up. So I'll just be like, oh, I'm nervous. That, and then we should do, like, around Halloween and other shit like that for, what's it, uh, I was just talking about earlier, was it, uh, this GoFundMe's? Mm-hmm. Do, like, a GoFundMe A&M Halloween party. Mm-hmm. Help hey, find a know. Halloween party for A and M. At the shop. Right at the shop. If we get to a, a mass number, the party's free. If not, it takes off whatever else to help other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have big things. A and M's gonna do a lot of good. Good hobby store. You do. There's a lot of stuff you can do, like ideas and other shit like that. I, I know that a lot of people will pull off or can do and other shit like that. Yo, we're gonna, we're gonna grind, man. We are definitely gonna grind. After I tried to hook up A&M with a bunch of different people, I want people from all over coming to the shop. Fuck it. We make our shit like Sturgis out this bitch. Mm-hmm. Gaysburg, Gaysburg, a lot of places out there. There's some nice places. Mm-hmm. 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 Them nerds are all right. <laughs> Those are some all right nerds. <laughs> I say, I say, I say. No, we're gonna have to do that one day. Since you said a, uh, a corny movie, we're gonna go with Into the Nerds. Uh, that would be a good one. I forgot, well, my guy up here, 
he just got his new car and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I sat in the back and he was driving me the other night. Mm-hmm. And I had to laugh because I went up behind him and I smacked him in the back of the neck. And I was like, I was like, all right, man, I'm the, your new Mr. Daisy. <laughs> and he started fucking rolling. He's like, man, I can't believe you just said that. I'm like, come on, we need to go. And he's like, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't know. He he just uh he just got a new jean, mm. everything because he had that that lower car that he had, okay. but he just got this jeep. I think he paid like twelve hundred, mm. but it's a nice jeep and everything. It it's got nice sound, and everything to it. But yeah, it's it's decent. Like instead of me, because when I had to get into his car, literally when I got in, like when I had to sit down, like literally when I got out of the vehicle, I literally mm. just went like this. Mm. And I had to grab on top of his thing like this and actually push myself up the lift out of it. And like if I sat in the back seat of the car, I'd be like this the whole time. Just mm. like I felt like I was going to suck my own dick. Well, he's short. But that's how lowered, like his car is that lowered mm. to the ground. Like mm-hmm. literally, like you, you, your foot, like right when you stick it out of the car, it's right there with the floor or the, the ground, ground of the car. Like literally, you have this much, like this much space between. Where the car and the ground's at. That's it. Wow. Mm-hmm. But his his girl drives that car now, so mm-hmm. and then he has the Jeep. Okay. So. Mm-hmm. But I just seen they have that was a nineteen eighty nine Jeep Cher- Cherokee for a hundred dollars. Someone sell nice price, good mileage and everything. All on it right now. But I talked. I was talking to Jude, and I was like, "You know, if I'm going for it, I was like, I told him I was like, I have four hundred, but I can come up with five hundred. Mm. He's like, if you can come with five hundred, I'll sell it to you for five hundred. Mm. I was like, I have to come take a look at it and stuff first, but it looks pretty decent. Mm-hmm. Five hundred bucks for a nineteen eighty, yeah, like nineteen nineteen eighty nine cheap Cherokee. What is that? He just put new parts and tires and brakes and everything else. It's like it's got new, uh, new springs and everything put on it. Like he did everything to it. No, but how, the only way you can really tell him he did this is if you have the receipts, I guess, right? The receipts and the body work and stuff. Like he showed all the new parts that he mm-hmm. put before and after parts. He took pictures mm-hmm. of and stuff. Cool. And if I have what's the name come with me, he can show and do whatever i think he said the only thing that needs to be put on is like two other parts mm-hmm. but he said if he puts them on he'll only charge me an extra hundred dollars to put them on himself but when i was talking to him up there he mm-hmm. said he could hurry up and put them right on him no charge or nothing because he's got tools and stuff like that he's got a whole engine block puller and stuff like that so he can change like engines trainees and other shit like that okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I always looked at that as like a vehicle wise at first. Just to get one. I really want a bike, but around this season you can't really drive a bike and stuff. A Jeep like that's got four. Four wheel drive and all that stuff. It's best for it. Yeah, I ain't gonna be driving that shit. Sneaking. Wall no. Well, see, I can, I, I'm able to get my license and stuff after six months of not having an epileptic seizure, which I'm already passed, but there's still always the risk, and I just don't want to end up taking that risk. If I'm on a bike and I take a risk, I'm on a bike, and I, I end up hurting myself more than anybody else if I'm on a bike, but I still have to go for my drivers and stuff. Like okay. that, so. Fuck it, nigga. Hide your driver. There you go, man. We have to drive. We get to drive the car and everything. I'll pay for gas. But you, but when you do your trip, like, when they do like some trip for himself, and really don't got nothing to do with you. Like, yo, you, you get the gas and that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you have your driver and shit, you be chilling. Shit, I mean, it should work out both ways for him. Yeah, I did that shit with a hoopty one, but, uh, we bought a, uh, what's that shit called? Uh, oh, I'm good for now. Mm-hmm. 
it. Um, a 90 Oldsmobile. My shit's about to die. No, I don't. Yeah, I think we're about to cut off because we're rad two hours now in our mm -hmm. video. Like, we just hit two hours right now. I'm on 10%. But I think we're about to click out. We're still going to post this up on the page so people can still view it and get views for it. The more views we get, YouTube will see it spread more. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be out. Peace. If I can get it stopped. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out. I can't get the switch.